uh, Luna and Terra, they are native tokens in the Terra ecosystem. Uh, Terra system is working to mint um, cryptocurrency to pack with the real world assets. Uh, in the crypt world, we and there's a real world. In in the real world, we use uh, fiat currencies such as US dollars, the Korea dollars. Uh, in crypto world, it mint UST, which is a terror, and the KRT, which is another kind of terror. Uh, they are both algorithmic step coins. Some let's say algorithmic step coins, step coins are not actually stable, not reliable, but this system makes it work. UST can pack to uh, USD in the real world. Uh, KRT can pack to the um, Korea dollar uh, one to one. Uh, they can not only uh, pack to fiat currencies, but also uh, to the share price, oil price, or even gold price. Uh, not let's go go on to see how it works. Uh, this system uh, was originated from a career team in 2018. The idea was born to create uh, digitally native assets that are price stable against the world's major fiat currencies. And in April 2019, uh, MainNet launched blockchain to the wrist, uh, testnet, soldier, uh, Terra four set, uh, which you can ask for some tokens, free tokens from from it. Mm, something like uh, Ethereum, Polygon. Uh, you can ask for free tokens to play on their testnet and Terra documents, uh, Terra stations. Terra station is a cool stuff. Uh, it's something like uh, Ethereum wallet. I will create another video to explain how to play with it. Uh, Terrafind, Terrafind is something, it's a block uh, explorer, something like uh, ether scan uh, to track uh, transactions uh, in the blockchain. In June 2019, uh, they upgrade Oracle to be robust again. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> lunar supply chain and market swap by directional lunar uh, spread fees, uh, change Oracle reward scheme from months, secret ledger to validators to minute distribution, something improved. Uh, in July 2020, uh, Char launched. The Char card um, is for testing um, period. Um, it's cool stuff, something like a uh, mm, uh, bank card you can use in your daily life. Mm, it also with a, a mass card integration, the char card will soon be able to be used globally. This is a cool stuff actually, make this uh, crypto system um, extended to the real world. Now let's see how they can pack to the real world asset. Uh, there's two tokens. Uh, one is Terra. Um, and Terra can pack to the uh, fiat uh, currencies, uh, gold price, uh, oil price, or share price in the stock market. Uh, and the Lula. Lula is the um, governance token for the terror ecosystem. Uh, it's used for government, governance and for uh, mining. Uh, so it's something like uh, ETH in the Ethereum ecosystem. Um, the, those miners hold the Luna. Uh, they can produce blocks, uh, buy that blocks or do some voting. Uh, you, you might wonder um, how to pack to fiat currencies such as USD. 
the answer is uh, they use market forces of supply and the demand. Uh, here's the terror pool, and uh, here's the lunar pool. Uh, it can burn Luna to mint Terra. Uh, vice versa, it can burn Terra and uh, mint Luna. When uh, the price of Terra is higher relative to its pack, uh, there's mechanism called uh, expansion. Um, the protocol incentivizes users to burn Luna and mint Terra. Uh, thus, the Terra pool gets smaller in this process, increase the pr price of the Luna. Uh, uh, when the price of Terra is too low relative to its peg, uh, there's a mechanism called contraction. Um, the protocol incentivizes users to burn Terra and mint Luna. And thus, the Luna pool increases and lower its price in the market. And there's another uh, mechanism called arbitrage, which is very important to, for the price in the uh, crypto to pack to the price in the real market. Uh, arbitrage means uh, a user can profit from price difference between markets. Um, Uh, when we can see uh, the price of uh, one UST uh, is above its packed uh, real world assets, for example, this is 1.05 USD in the exchange, such as Binance or Coinbase. Um, people can pay one USD to the market swap, uh, which is a component in the Terra station. Uh, I'll explain how to play with Terra station afterwards in another video. Mm. And he can get uh, one UST. And with this one UST, he paid to the exchange, he get uh, 1.05 USD. And thus he can own 0.05 USD dollars. Um, and in another scenario, mm, when the UST is less than the packed price in the real market. Uh, for example, it's 0 0.95 UST. Uh, a smart guy uh, see this and he pay 0 0.95 USD to the market and get one UST. And then he pay one UST to the market swap in the terror station and get one USD. And he own uh, 0.05 dollar USD dollars in this scenario. Uh, let's talk about consensus. Uh, there's a lot of consensus system. Uh, for them, POW, proof of work, which is used by Bitcoin and the current uh, uh, Ethereum and the POS, which the Ethereum is um, trying to migrate into. And the depots uh, is delegated um, proof of stake, which is used by EOS. And the Terra blockchain is a proof of stake blockchain uh, powered by Cosmos Stake SDK and secured by a system of uh, verification called uh, tender mint consensus. The following process explains how tender mint process work. Um, a validator called a proposer is chosen to submit a new block of transactions. Uh, some other validators vote in two rounds on whether they accept or reject the proposed block. If block is rejected, a new proposal is selected and the process starts again. If accepted, the block is signed and added to the chain. Uh, the transaction fee from the block 
are distributed as staking rewards to validators and the delegators. I'll explain what delegators mean uh, afterwards. Um, proposers get rewarded for their participation. This is how the system works to um, make people have the in incentive and motivation to do the job to secure the blockchain. Um, let's explain more what is proof of stake. Uh, here's a blockchain and uh, there are a lot of people called a validator. They hold some lunar tokens and want to benefit from the blockchain. They can run their nodes um, <clears throat> and stake uh, they are lunar to the blockchain uh, and they propose block and vote for block and get benefit from the chain. The opportunity they can propose a block depends on how much tokens they hold they, they stake to this blockchain. Mm, so they, if they have more money, they can get more money. There are some other people uh, they don't want to uh, stake directly on the blockchain, uh, but they st still want to benefit from it. Mm, uh, maybe they lack their lack of uh, technology, how to run a node. Maybe they are afraid of being slashed because they did something wrong, mm, but they still want to benefit. So they can stack their lunar token to the validator to increase their wear uh, so the validator has more chance to um, propose a block have more chance to win um, token from the blockchain and reward them with staking reward so this system can make the lunar blockchain more secure and robust and now let's talk about governance. Um, Luna is a native token of this uh, system. Um, it can be used for uh, submit a proposal by the validator. Also can be used to, to vote for the um, proposed block by others. And uh, also there are uh, in the risk of being slashed if they did something wrong. For example, the double <coughs> signing that their node uh, gets down for some time and uh, they missed the votes. This is why some people uh, don't like to be a validator instead of being a delegator. Uh, sure, there's some fees in this system. Uh, one is uh, called a guess, uh, it's something like a um, transaction fee to reward uh, miners. Uh, it's the same concept as the gas fee in the Ethereum system. There's a Tobin tax. Uh, it's a fixed percentage of fee uh, to the market swap. Uh, so when people uh, transact on, on the market swap, they will pay fees to this system to maintain uh, the system working. Uh, another fee called a spread fee. Uh, it's actually um, used in during times of extreme uh, volatility uh, to maintain the stability of Terra pool and the lunar pool. Uh, there's um, subsystem called a mirror. It's a DeFi protocol powered by smart contract on Terra network. Enable the creation of synthetic assets called mirror assets or M assets. Uh, this mirror assets can mimic the price behavior of real world assets. It's something like a synthetic uh, system, um, but um, goes further into the real market. Uh, we can see they have website. Uh, it can mimic the behavior of the um, share price for the Apple company, Airbnb, um, what's it? Amazon, something else. Uh, 
they have price called Oracle price, which is comes from, from the external world. Uh, they have pool price, which is determined by lots of factors. Um, if you want, want to uh, have more research on how this price are determined, you can take a further look at their uh, documents. Uh, for this mirror system to work, um, people can deposit collateral to the uh, system and uh, the system can mint M S for them and this M asset can pack to the as the price in the real world. This um, deposit and the mint process is something like uh, in the MacDAO, you deposit uh, ETH token and get day. And for this assets in the system to be more easy traded, um, another group of people they can provide liquidity to this system to make the asset more like to be uh, traded. They provide the bid order, ask order and they can benefit from system this, uh, receiving uh, liquidity provider tokens. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, I will create an, another video describing how to use the terror station. Um, see you next time.